you've ordered or received your telescope, what comes in the box? Well, you've got your tripod. The German equatorial mount, sometimes called a CHEM or an EQ. Two counterbalance weights in the rod that they attach to. Two control knobs. The optical tube assembly. A 20 millimeter erecting eyepiece and a 10 millimeter eyepiece. The tripod. This is probably the weakest part of the telescope assembly. You see the accessory tray sitting here and the plastic spider. Well, what's the chain? Well, the third time out, the plastic spider broke. So I replaced it with the chain. Celestron was willing to send me a replacement node problem, but the chain's much stronger than the plastic. Setting up the tripod is simply a matter. Loosening these wing bolts. And spreading the legs. If you've got the plastic spider assembly, you have to ensure that it comes down and locks. Put the plastic uh, accessory tray on and twist it. So putting the gem on the tripod, it's real simple. Place it in the hole, hold it down, This gauge here is for your latitude. Once you've got that set correctly, you shouldn't have to mess with it much. This gauge here is for right ascension. It has two sets of numbers on it, one for southern hemisphere and one for the northern hemisphere. Using this gauge and this axis of rotation, once you've got polar alignment, you get set on a star or a planet using the right ascension, you can keep track. And if you get a dead on polar alignment, you won't have to adjust anything except for the right ascension to track the star or planet through the sky. This is for your declination. This permits more or less a left and right turning of the telescope. And then on top, you've got the actual dovetail mount that the OTA fits into. You've got a locking nut. Then you've got a safety lock. Why do you have both? If you look closely, this knob, this knob, and this knob are exactly alike. It's middle of the night, it's dark out. You're reaching to adjust your declination or your right ascension. And instead, you reach up here and you loosen the locking nut for the telescope assembly. 
that's why there's a safety. Without this safety, the tube assembly could just go sliding right off the tripod. The next thing we want to install are the control handles, control knobs. They're real simple. Loosen this nut on the rod that they connect to. There's a little indentation that the nut that the uh, bolt sets into. All you have to do is slide it on. Well, it wiggle it around a little bit to get that bolt in the slot, and you're done. Loosen the bolt, slide it in, wiggle it around, tighten it down. Next to go on is the rod for the counterbalance. It goes right in here. screws in. Then you remove this retaining bolt. Slip the weights on. Replace the retaining bolt. thing we're going to do is attach the bracket to the optical tube assembly. Simply a matter of loosening these nuts, opening the bracket up, placing the tube assembly in the cradle, expect it to rock a little bit and roll over, bring the nuts over, And tighten them down. You only want these to be snug, not overly tight. You want the bracket so it doesn't move around on the tube. You don't want it so tight that you risk damaging the tube assembly. Now we're going to put the telescope assembly onto the Jim. Here on the bottom is this wedge. It's got a little flare to it. You've got a dovetailed mount here at the top. It's simply a matter of loosening the locking nut and the safety nut. Matching the mount. to the clamp assembly. Always keep a hand on it. Tighten the locking nut. Tighten the safety nut. Your telescope is now assembled.